Hey guys, I'm LB, and let's check out a request from Sereger. The Cube of Destiny v 1.2 by Yunas. What I think will turn out to be my most brain-bending challenge yet, but with that comes the fact that I've probably not managed to squish every bug in it. I tried my damnedest to get them all, but if there's one that I missed, tell me. Fix an alternate solution to make clear what each button does, reduced antline clutter, tidy it up a bit, and remove the necessity for the light bridges in some s in the same swoop as making the test look really purdy. Thanks, Carl Kinner. Well, uh, unless this, uh, uh, I don't see how you can make this really purdy, because you're using the second ugliest style Bmod has to offer. Like, <laughs> I will say it every time. This is a really ugly style to use for Puzzle Maker maps. Yeah, look how ugly this is. Oh my gosh. At least it's brighter than the screenshot. Oh, actually, it's about the same. There's a thousand tests performed every day here in our enrichment spheres. I can't personally oversee every one of them, so these pre-recorded messages will cover any questions you might have, and respond to any incidents that may occur in the course of your science adventure. Alright, it seems we have some... Oops, where's the button? Here's the button. It seems we have some gel, or such something. I'm not really sure what all this is about, but I guess we will find out momentarily. Might as well get gel everywhere, right? Why not? Alright, so, we have gel everywhere. There we go. And... oh, I didn't even see that. That's a thing, right? That's probably how we get into there, probably. What's in here, though? Ah, so we have to disable the fizzler, probably with that button. Oh, wait, what? Well, wow, that antline goes on quite a journey. And then we can put the cube there, but first of all, let's just get up there and, and see if we can verify... ...what I am seeing here. Let's put this cube on this button, please. Oh yeah, that gets us in here for sure. There's the button. And this ant line definitely goes to the fizzler. Why- why not put the fizzler on this side, so that way... ...the ant line does not go on so much of a journey. Alright, so... The other thing we have to consider... Apparently, is this over here. Alright, so we'll plunk a portal somewhere on there, for example. And then... run through... where does this take us? Through a fizzler, but there's a way back out, it seems. And up here is... the button. Wait, really? I must be missing something. Is this on a timer? No. Well then... what exactly am I missing, then? Because this doesn't seem challenging at all. Unless there's not a portal surface up there, that might complicate things. Yeah, this fizzler's off now. Oops. What drops that cube? Okay, it auto-responds, which is nice. Yeah, there's no portal surface in here, so I guess that's the trick. Uh... If that's the trick... Let's do that. And... That doesn't really matter too much. Put the portal here, so it's next to the button. I'll put this on the other side. Oh goodness. Oh goodness, please let me out. PLEASE LET ME OUT! <laughs> Not like this. Okay, how about- how about we do this a slightly different way? How about I stand on this button? Do that, this, and then... Well, that didn't quite work out. Need to get better aim, it seems. Is that really what I have to do, though? That- that seems... unusually cruel. Cool. 
moving it. There we go. Hey, we did it. All right, what next? Well, that's it. Release this stuff into the wild until it's good and really? damn ready. So as long as you keep yourself in top physical form. <laughs> Alright, well guys, as always, thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it, and I will see you all... in another video. Goodbye!